today's uh, presentation about the NinjaTrader platform uh, with uh, special emphasis on the NinjaTrader 8 features for spot forex trading. Uh, before we begin, I would like to do a quick test of audio and visual so you can hear my voice and see my desktop presentation of the risk disclaimer. If you could please type a letter Y into the room, uh, into the room now using the questions window. All right, thank you all very much for confirming that for me. We'll take that sampling to mean that we're coming in loud and clear. Uh, I do also have a quick disclaimer to read. Uh, it is important to understand that there are substantial risks in trading foreign currency or commodities. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you, and this will depend on your specific circumstance and financial resources. It is possible to lose all the funds deposited with your broker, and you could even incur losses beyond these amounts. Please inquire at uh, brokerage support at ninjatrader.com or with FXCM uh, for more information or for a copy of the CFTC full risk disclosure. Also, please remember that these training webinars are not a solicitation nor a trading recommendation, but simply educational in nature. So now that we have gone over the risk disclaimer, uh, you should now be able to see my ninja trader platform on the screen i'm going to go ahead and get connected to a market data feed that i have from fxcm uh, and what i have on my screen right now is the ninja trader version 8 platform which is our latest iteration of ninja trader uh, latest and greatest uh, one of our main focal points when developing NinjaTrader 8 was to enhance the platform functionality specifically for spot forex trading. Um, it was also very important for us to incorporate direct uh, customer user uh, suggestions as uh, enhancements for the platform. Uh, when we started our develop development for process for NinjaTrader 8, uh, so you really do have a for traders by traders experience with uh, the NinjaTrader platform, particularly with respect to the features for uh, spot forex trading. Uh, so I'm going to be using this uh, workspace that you see on my screen today to give a demonstration of NinjaTrader 8's features uh, that are designed to enhance your forex trading experience. Uh, so I'm going to start out by giving an overview of this workspace. So I'll discuss each of the individual windows that you see uh, on your screen and how they can be used in conjunction with one another. Uh, next, I will demonstrate how uh, some of the ways you can place orders within the NinjaTrader platform. Um, and then finally, we'll discuss how you can get started with NinjaTrader absolutely free, including some of the free support resources that we have available for all of our users. And finally, before we begin, I do like to keep these webinars interactive. So if you have any questions as we work through the topics of today's presentation, do feel free to type those into the questions window. Uh, again, to ensure that I do not miss any of your questions, uh, please make sure that you're typing those into the questions window instead of messaging those, direct, uh, messaging those to me directly. Um, and again, if you can keep your questions to the uh, topics at hand that I'm uh, presenting specifically. Uh, I should be able to answer those questions as we work through the presentation, uh, but I will also have a few minutes at the end of our presentation today to open the floor to some more general questions. Uh, so now let's dive into the NinjaTrader 8 platform and discuss some of the specific features for spot forex trading. Uh, so one of the most obvious enhancements of the NinjaTrader 8 platform with respect to Forex trading is going to be this FX board window that you can see in the top right of my uh, desktop presentation. I'll go ahead and expand that for you so you can see exactly what I'm talking about and then send that back to the uh, presentation size. Uh, so this is the uh, FX board window that I just expanded and then sent back to uh, the normal size. So the uh, FX forward window allows you to quickly, sprint, uh, quickly scan price quotes for an array of Forex pairs and CFDs using a tile format. Uh, so you can add or remove tiles from the FX board so you can control the number of different tiles that you see. And then you can change your selected uh, you know, Forex or uh, CFD instrument from any of those individual tiles. 
Uh, so each tile within the FX board will show the current ask bid uh, prices. Uh, so I can quickly see the current price quotes for any uh, individual Forex pair. Um, the quotes will light up blue for an uptick or will show red for a downtick. So to the left of the FX board window, uh, you can also see that I have a chart on my screen. Um, and I've actually linked this uh, specific chart to the FX board window. And you can link windows within NinjaTrader by selecting a specific color uh, from the selection in the top right of each window. So right now my chart is linked to my FX board because both windows have this lime green color selected. Uh, and what that allows me to do is quickly change the uh, 4x pair that I have selected on my chart uh, based on the uh, 4x pair that I have selected within my FX board. So right now I have the Euro US dollar selected. You can see that it is reflected on my chart. But if I select the tile for the Euro versus the uh, Great Britain pound, that will automatically change the symbol on my chart. Uh, again, because I do have these two windows linked. So that makes it very easy for me to switch the instrument uh, that I have uh, displayed on my chart based on what I have selected within the FX window. So if I want to change to the uh, pound versus the US dollar, once again, I could just locate that tile from my FX board, select that tile, so you can see that uh, GBP USD is selected red, and that will quickly update the instrument on my chart to show me the uh, Great British Pound versus the US dollar. Another enhancement of the NinjaTrader 8 platform that uh, really helps you to streamline your workspace and improve uh, you know, workspace efficiently is we've introduced a tabbed window interface. So if we look at the bottom left of my FX board, you can see that I actually have two tabs, one labeled Forex and one labeled CFDs. So what I've done is I've uh, pre-built uh, some uh, CFD products as well into this FX board. And if I want to switch from viewing Forex pairs to viewing CFDs, I can simply click that CFD tab and that will bring up a, um, that will switch tabs within my FX board and it'll show me some of the CFDs that I have uh, pre-built. So for example, if I wanted to look at the uh, CFD for the Dow Jones Industrial, the US 30, I could simply select that. Uh, I could simply select that tile within my um, within my FX board, and then it'll update my chart to show the uh, US 30 CFD. Obviously, there's not going to be too much uh, activity on that right now since we are still well before the US market opens. But uh, let's go ahead and switch over to the uh, German 30, which is CFD on the DAX, and uh, should be able to see a little bit more price action on that since that's a uh, market that is currently open. Um, I also have a number of tabs that are built onto this uh, chart. So if we look over to the chart that's just to the left, um, you can see that I have uh, tabs open for a few different uh, time frames. So I can quickly switch between time frames using the tabs that are open uh, on the bottom left of that chart. Um, and these are all already loaded, so there won't be any load time to build uh, those new bar types. So um, right now I have uh, a single chart open, uh, which will automatically display uh, whichever uh, Forex pair or CFD that I have selected in my FX board window. And I have three different time frames built onto this chart using the uh, chart tab interface. So what this allows me to do is quickly switch between multiple time frames, all from a single chart window. As you can see that I, I am displaying all of uh, the same indicators between each of these time frames. Uh, so I built this workspace to be really streamlined and to incorporate 
a lot of different charts and a lot of different time frames all within a very small number of individual windows. Uh, with NinjaTrader, all of the windows are independent and free floating, so uh, I could certainly create multiple charts uh, if I wanted to, um, and I could position those charts and other windows anywhere I want within my monitor array. Uh, but for today's presentation, since I'm only presenting from a single window, I did try to uh, incorporate as much into uh, a small number of windows to really maximize my screen uh, real estate uh, with respect to today's presentation. Um, however, if you did have uh, more screen real estate available to you, you know, if you have a multiple monitor array, you could certainly uh, tailor your NinjaTrader workspace to fit uh, that type of uh, monitor array as well. Uh, another cool feature of the tab interface is you can also duplicate these tabs. Um, and that makes it very easy to, uh, you know, as opposed to setting up a new uh, chart with all of your indicators, um, it's much easier to simply duplicate a tab. Uh, so, for example, I can right click my 60 minute chart tab and then select, select duplicate in new tab. And then, for example, if I want to have a 360 minute time interval, I could simply type 360M and then select enter. And that will, so now I have a separate tab with a 360 minute uh, time interval. And if I wanted to load a little additional historical data, I could right click this uh, chart, select data series, and then increase my number of days to load. and then click OK. So now I've added a, let's see, fifth tab to this uh, single chart that has a 360 minute time interval on it. Um, and I was able to do that by simply duplicating the 60 minute tab and then just quickly changing the time interval. So uh, I didn't have to go through the pro process of adding each of these indicators individually. Uh, we can see on the chart that I have a a few different uh, moving averages. I have a, a simple moving average and an exponential moving average. And then I also have uh, you know, a MACD and an RSI indicator. So instead of uh, you know, building this uh, chart tab essentially from scratch and having to add each of those indicators individually, I was able to just simply duplicate one of my existing tabs and then um, just quickly change the time interval and uh, increase the number of uh, days to load for historical data. So now that uh, I've essentially discussed the individual windows that I have open within this workspace, and uh, you know, with particularly respect to uh, market analysis, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is show you guys some of the ways to place orders from the NinjaTrader platform. So to start, I'm going to go back to the FX board. I'm going to go ahead and select my Forex tab and uh, mostly going to work with uh, Forex instruments today. And we'll take a look at a few of the ways that you can place orders directly uh, from the FX board. Uh, within NinjaTrader, and then we'll also take a look at some order management directly from the chart. Uh, so the FX board is uh, really designed for a quick and easy, quick, easy, and accurate forex order placement. Uh, the FX board enlarges the pip and sub pip portion of the price quote, so you can quickly see where your orders are going to fill. Uh, so we can quickly place buy and sell market orders uh, from the FX board by simply clicking the quoted price. So if I want to uh, place a quick buy order at the bid, I can simply click on the portion of the tile that shows me the quoted uh, bid price, and that will place a buy, uh, a buy market order at the current bid price. Um, I can also set my order quantity. So right now I'm currently, uh, you know, have a micro lot selected. Uh, if I wanted, you know, four micro lots, I could simply increase that quantity to 4,000 units. 
um, and then click the uh, buy quote, and that will place that buy market order. So once I'm in a position, I can easily view uh, the size and direction of my position here. Um, so this background color green. Uh, so here's the uh, position marker. If you can see where my mouse is, it's right next to the button that says close. Uh, that position marker is going to show me the size and direction of my position. So uh, that background color green indicates that I'm in a long position for 4,000 uh, units of this currency or four micro lots. Uh, I can also see my uh, I can also see my um, unrealized profit or loss on this position. Uh, so I can see the, uh, I'm currently, it's like looks like three, four tenth pips down on this position. And if I wanted to quickly exit out of this position, I could simply click the close button and IntraTrader will submit a market order that will uh, liquidate my current position at the current market price. And then I'm now back to a flat position. Uh, so let's say we want to submit, uh, you know, like a stop or limit order as opposed to a market order. Um, obviously, we're going to need some additional order parameters versus simply, you know, the buy and sell market that we have uh, on this. Uh, on this tile here within the FX board. Uh, so what we can actually do, and, and this is one of the really cool features that I think with uh, NinjaTrader 8, uh, is when we designed this FX board, we actually thought of each of these uh, tiles, each of these individual tiles as a three-dimensional space. So if, you, if we want to place orders like a stop or limit order that has uh, some additional um, you know, that have some additional parameters, uh, what we can actually do is flip the tile and then that will give us the additional uh, parameters to set uh, type of order, limit, market, market of touch, or stop market. And then we can set the um, limit and stop price of those orders uh, in order to you know, place a stop or limit order. Um, so I do see that there have been a couple questions in the room that I'll go ahead and answer real quick. Uh, so Mark asked, um, how can you change the default order quantity? Uh, so you can set default order quantities within NinjaTrader. Um, let's see, that's not something that I had uh, planned for the presentation today, uh, but let me see if I can grab a help guide article real quick that will show you how to do that. And then Michael uh, Michael Connor is asking, is there a way to automate strategies? Uh, is it the same language as previous versions of NinjaTrader? Uh, Aaron's uh, question is exactly the same as Michael Connor's. Uh, so yes, uh, automated, strategy, automated trading is uh, one of the features that I'm going to touch on briefly in today's presentation. Uh, it is, um, uh, yeah, so uh, we do have automated trading for NinjaTrader, and that is something that I am going to um, discuss uh, briefly uh, in a little bit in a few minutes in today's presentation. Uh, but real quick, I am going to try to grab a um, help guide link for Mark Simmons about setting a default order quantity. And Mark, uh, so my apologies, I don't actually have that resource uh, directly available at hand. Uh, but uh, what you can do is if you send a note to platform support at ninjatrader.com, I'll go ahead and type that into the room now. But if you send a note to platform support at ninjatrader.com and let them know that uh, 
you're interested in setting up a default order quantity for NinjaTrader 8, that is something that they would be able to give you uh, specific instructions as well as specific uh, help guide resources for. Um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and type that email address into the room now. All right, so uh, I do appreciate the uh, participation uh, by asking those questions. Uh, like I said to both, um, hold on. Uh, yeah, so like I said for both uh, Michael and uh, Aaron, um, I will be discussing uh, automated trading or algo trading in a few minutes in the presentation today. Um, Michael had a question. Michael Hunter had a question. Uh, is NinjaTrader linked to uh, the broker? So yes, uh, NinjaTrader is you know a front-end application that you know sits on your computer at home, which is linked directly to your brokerage account with FXCM. Um, so Michael, thanks for uh, for asking that question as well. Um, back to the presentation at hand. Um, so we had just discussed how to quickly submit market orders uh, from the uh, FX board window, and then we were going to also discuss how to submit um, uh, how to submit uh, stop and limit orders. And the way we uh, would the way we would submit stop and limit order parameters would be to simply flip the uh, an individual tile within the FX board window. So again, if we're submitting trades on the Euro versus the US dollar, if we wanted to submit a limit order as opposed to a market order, what we would do is simply flip this tile and then we could uh, change the type of order to a limit order and then that will allow us to enter a limit price for the order. Um, And then once we have submitted, uh, once we have selected our limit price, so say for example, if we want to place a uh, sell limit order at um, uh, you know, at a specific price, you know, for example, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, place a uh, limit price at, uh, you know, 1.185. So simply to type that price in. And if we submit, uh, if we click sell, you can see that we'll place our sell limit order at the uh, price that we select that we typed for the uh, the limit order. So a couple more questions uh, that have been posted in the room. Colin Allison asked uh, about running multiple charts on multiple monitors. Uh, that is something that I uh, touched on uh, already, Allison. Yes, you can run multiple charts on multiple monitors. Uh, what I said before is that each of NinjaTrader's windows uh, is, uh, each of NinjaTrader's windows will be independent and free floating. So you can create multiple charts within a single workspace. You can resize them however you like, and you can also move them uh, wherever you want within your monitor array. So NinjaTrader has been optimized to run on multiple monitors. Um, and you know when you're building a workspace, you do have a lot of freedom and customization in terms of creating multiple windows, resizing those windows independently of one another. Uh, right now, I've kind of, uh, uh, I've tried to limit my presentation to a single monitor window. Uh, but yes, uh, for your own use, you can absolutely have NinjaTrader running across multiple monitors uh, because all the charts and all the individual windows are independent and free floating. Uh, Dave is asking about uh, attaching uh, trailing stops to a uh, stop loss order. 
Um, yes, that is something that you can do using NinjaTrader's ATM strategies, which is something that I am going to be demonstrating in just a few minutes from now. All right. So Charles is asking if you can link NinjaTrader to any type of FXCM account or specific types of accounts. Um, so one of the only limitations that I'm aware of in terms of the types of accounts that you can use uh, with the NinjaTrader platform and FXCM, uh, yeah, one of the only limitations that I'm aware of is that NinjaTrader does not support hedging accounts. Um, otherwise, I'm not aware of any specific limitations in terms of the uh, types of accounts that you can use NinjaTrader uh, to trade with FXCM. Um, the guys who would be able to give you a little bit more information about that would actually be FXCM's team. So if you want to reach out to FXCM directly, they would be able to give you a little bit more information about what types of accounts could be used with the NinjaTrader platform. Like I said, the only limitation that I'm aware of personally would be that NinjaTrader does not support hedging type accounts. Um, So we'll go ahead, go ahead and uh, keep moving with uh, the presentation. So I did just place that uh, limit order from the uh, FX board by using this tile interface, uh, simply uh, flipping over that tile to define my additional uh, order parameters for uh, that are required to submit a limit order. Um, for those of you who have been paying close attention, uh, you should have been able to see that uh, uh, when I am uh, when I place trades from the FX board, those are also reflected on my chart. Uh, so when I place that limit order, you can now see that I have a marker for the pending limit order that is displayed directly on my chart. So NinjaTrader does offer uh, direct order placement and uh, management, uh, order and position management directly from the chart. And the uh, interface we've built for uh, order entry and position management on the chart is, uh, we call it Chart Trader. Uh, so, like I said, Chart Trader gives you a very visual interface to directly place, uh, modify, and cancel orders uh, directly from the chart. So, you can place and modify orders relative to, uh, you know, current market data, historical data, as well as uh, indicator price levels. Um, so, for example, if I place this limit order from the FX board, uh, but I wanted to modify it relative to uh, some of the uh, historical price data that I have on my chart, I could simply click that order once to pick it up and then click again to set it down at a new price level. So, for example, if I you know, possibly saw some support or resistance at uh, these candlesticks, I could simply move the uh, limit order and set it down directly on those uh, the tops of those candlesticks. Uh, I could also uh, cancel this order directly from my chart by clicking the X button that appears next to the order marker. Uh, I do also have uh, control over working orders within the FX board. So you can see below the individual tiles and below the tabs that would allow me to switch between tiles, I have a uh, interface that shows me my working order so I can simply I can quickly cancel the order from the FX board or directly from the chart. Um, so there's a few different ways that I can use Chart Trader to place orders. So right now, I'm, uh, there's a few different settings for Chart Trader. Uh, you can either you can turn Chart Trader off. You can have Chart Trader active but hidden, which is what I currently have right now, uh, or we can activate. Uh, uh, the full view of Chart Trader, which gives me access to uh, buy and sell market buttons on the right side of my chart. I also have uh, buttons to place trades at the bid or ask prices, as well as reverse and close buttons. So if I wanted to quickly place a buy market order for my chart, I could simply hit that buy market button, and that will fill me into a uh, long position at my current selected order quantity. Uh, and then I do also have a close button available directly on the chart, so I can quickly hit close as well. If I wanted to go back to the hidden, whoops, if I wanted to go back to the hidden chart trader uh, view, I could go back to uh, hidden and that will hide the 
uh, order entry buttons, uh, but I would still be able to modify any uh, existing orders on my chart. Uh, and then I can also place, uh, even with Chart Trader hidden, I can still place uh, limit and stop orders by right clicking at a specific price level. So if I wanted to place a buy stop order at a specific price level, I could simply, uh, or a, um, yeah, so if I wanted to place a buy stop order, I could simply right click at a price above the current market and then I would be able to place a buy stop order at that at that price where I right clicked. And then once again, I can uh, modify these orders with a simple click and click uh, interface. So I click once to select the order and then click again to set it down at a new price. And then once again, I can cancel that pending order by clicking the red or clicking the X that appears on the right side of the order marker. So we've gone over basic order placement from both the FX board window and the chart using the chart trader interface. Um, so there had been a question in the room earlier. Uh, let me find the exact phrasing. Um, so yeah, there had been a question in the room earlier about using uh, trailing stops. Uh, so that is a functionality of NinjaTrader's ATM strategies. So ATM stands for Advanced Trade Management. And uh, what that essentially allows you to do is predefine your stop loss and profit target parameters before manually entering a position. So you can think of an ATM strategy as essentially as semi-automated trading. Uh, you are still placing a trade manually. So it's not full algorithmic trading. It's not fully automated trading where an algorithm is determining your entry points. Uh, you are still determining the entry points uh, manually. So you're still placing orders manually using you know, either a market limit or stop order. But then once you've entered the position, uh, NinjaTrader is automatically submitting your uh, stop loss and profit target orders based on your predefined uh, risk parameters. So I'm going to be using Char Trader to uh, demonstrate uh, the ATM strategy. So I'm going to go back to the full view of Chart Trader. Um, so if I want to define an ATM strategy, what I can do is use this uh, drop-down selection here. So I will change that to custom, and that will allow me to create a new ATM strategy on the fly. So once again, I can define uh, an order quantity here. So go ahead and uh, increase that to three micro lots uh, so I can add some additional targets. And one of the enhancements of, uh, one of the enhancements of NinjaTrader 8 is that you can change the way your ATM strategy is defined. So with previous versions of NinjaTrader, you were only able to define ATM strategies in ticks relative to your entry price. Uh, and ticks is obviously gonna be a little bit more specific to futures trading, uh, but with NinjaTrader 8, you can define uh, your ATM strategy in currency, percent, price, ticks, or pips. So today I'm actually gonna define my my ATM strategy in pips relative to my average entry price. And then I'm also going to add some additional targets. So uh, for each of these targets, I'm gonna set a one micro lot quantity. So, I have 1,000 units of currency for each of these, uh, for each of the targets of my ATM strategy. Uh, and then along with the quantity, I can define the stop loss and profit target for each individual leg of my ATM strategy. So again, we're gonna be entering the uh, position with an order quantity size 
of three micro lots. And then we're going to define uh, an individual uh, profit target and stop loss for each of the three individual micro lots in this position. So um, for the first one, we can set up a, a stop loss of uh, two pips and, you know, for example, a profit target of three pips. Um, for target two, we can do a, a three pip stop loss and a four pip prop profit target. And then for the last one, we'll go ahead and submit a four pip stop loss. But instead of defining a profit target, I'm actually going to leave this third target as a runner. Uh, so instead of, again, instead of defining a specific uh, pip amount for my profit target order, what I'm actually going to do is set up an auto trail uh, and leave this as a runner. So the um, there wouldn't necessarily be a ceiling on this position, uh, on this, uh, our, our take profit for this uh, third target. Uh, again, there wouldn't necessarily be a ceiling for our take profit, but uh, we will have a floor that is going to adjust as uh, we see increased profit on this position. So um, for the stop strategy, I'll select custom, and then that will allow me to define the parameters of my auto trail. So first thing that we'll need to do is define the number of pips uh, by which this uh, stop loss order will trail the market. So I'll define that in uh, tenth pips. So I'll do uh, three tenth pips for this uh, stop loss. So the stop loss order will trail the current market price by three tenth pips. Uh, we want that. Um, we do need this uh, profit target order to, or we we need the stop loss to kick in after a certain profit trigger or profit threshold. So um, let's do that profit threshold of four pips. So uh, once my second target has hit its profit target price, that is also going to be the price threshold uh, with which our uh, auto trail will kick in for target three. And then we also have a frequency of profit with which our auto trail will automatically update. So then we'll click OK. And now what we can do is uh, if we submit a uh, buy market order, you can see once we're filled in on that position, the stop loss and profit target orders are automatically submitted. And the, uh, the stop loss orders are gonna be submitted at, uh, once again, it should be two, three, and four tick uh, pips respectively. Uh, and that's again, relative to our average entry price. And then our profit targets are submitted at uh, three and four pips respectively relative to our average entry price. And then um, as, as you recall, we do not have a third profit target order uh, for this ATM strategy because the third leg of the ATM strategy, uh, we're leaving that as a runner. Um, so in order to better demonstrate this uh, ATM strategy, uh, what I'm actually going to do is uh, disconnect from the live data feed that I'm getting from FXCM. And instead, I'm going to connect to a simulated data feed uh, so I can uh, actually control the trend of the market and demonstrate how this uh, ATM strategy, specifically how the auto trail will function. So I'll disconnect from my live uh, FXCM feed and instead, connect to a simulated data feed. So with the simulated data feed, I do have this uh, trend slider so I can trend the market up. So I we can actually watch how the ATM strategy is going to function versus waiting for, you know, a live market to uh, start trading at those prices.
So as we can see at three pips in profit, that will fill me at my first uh, profit target order uh, value. Uh, these, uh, the stop loss and profit target orders of an ATM strategy are inherently OCO, which means one cancels other. So as my profit target orders fill, the corresponding stop loss orders will automatically cancel and vice versa. So you can really think of an ATM strategy as a semi-automated trading solution where you are entering the trade manually and then the ATM strategy will be managing your exit strategy of that position. Uh, so once we have a working ATM strategy in place, uh, that really removes the hands-on component of the risk management, which um, you know is going to free you to research new trading opportunities. Uh, but it's also going to remove the human component of risk management, uh, which is where you know our emotions can really prevent us from uh, you know recognizing a winning a winning trade or recognizing a losing trade that we just need to get out of at our predefined risk levels. Uh, and again, an ATM strategy allows you to remove that human component of risk management uh, and instead rely on the robotics of your predefined uh, stop loss and profit target orders to manage that position for you. So once again, I'll turn the market up so we can see the uh, second profit target order fill, and then that will also trigger our auto trail uh, stop strategy to kick in once that uh, second profit target order fills at uh, four pips in profit. So again, once uh, I've reached that four pips in profits, uh, that will autom uh, that will uh, fill my second target price, and then also uh, that will uh, cancel the uh, corresponding uh, the corresponding stop loss order for that profit target. Uh, so my stop strategy, uh, the auto trail didn't actually kick in. So I wonder if I may have. Uh, define that parameter incorrectly. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at what I defined. Hmm. Yeah, so I must have messed something up when I defined that uh, that trailing stop loss order. So um, it hasn't actually triggered the uh, the profit trigger price for that order or for that stop loss to uh, start functioning. Uh, so why don't I uh, go ahead and uh, close out of this uh, this position? So I'll just go ahead and click hit the close button, and then I will give a quick uh, specific demonstration of the. Um, of the uh, stop strategy and I'll just make sure that I define that correctly. So once again, we'll go ahead and change our parameter type to pips and then so we'll do a one step auto uh, one step auto trail and then let's change this to a profit target of two pips and then we'll trail by we'll trail by uh, three tenth pips And I did set that, uh, this time around, I did set that, um,
So yeah, I set the auto trail uh, stop loss to kick in at a profit threshold of uh, two pips. So hopefully that's what we'll see once our profit goes to uh, two pips using this uh, trend slider to manipulate the market. There we go. So not sure what I did wrong the first time when I set that up, but uh, as you can see, once I have reached the two pip profit target threshold, uh, now my stop loss is automatically updating with every uh, two ticks in profit, uh, and it's gonna trail the market by, uh, by three tenth pips. And if the market were to go back and move against me, it will just go down and fill me at that uh, stop loss price uh, that was uh, trailing the market. So glad I was able to, uh, on the second try, get the uh, auto trail working for you. Like I said, I probably just entered an incorrect value uh, when I initially set that up. Um, but yeah, so the, uh, the auto trail stop loss is a feature of the ATM strategies. So glad we were able to give a quick demonstration of that as well. So at this point, uh, we have demonstrated some of NinjaTrader's key features for order entry. So we've discussed uh, the quick order entry available directly from the FX board, as well as uh, order entry and position management directly from the chart. Uh, anything that you saw me doing uh, with respect to the ATM strategies, you can also set that up directly from the FX board as well. Uh, so ATM strategies are available on the FX board by flipping the uh, panel, and then uh, you can define an ATM strategy from this uh, drop-down window here. Um, but I do like to demonstrate ATM strategies using a chart because you do get a little bit more of a visual representation of where the orders are submitted relative to you know, real-time and historical price data. Uh, but everything that I did on the chart with respect to ATM strategies, you can also do from the FX board. Um, so we've discussed, uh, you know, basic order entry place, uh, basic order placement using the FX board as well as, uh, you know, ATM strategies using Chart Trader. Um, another one of the cornerstone features uh, of the NinjaTrader platform, and I did touch on this earlier when the question was asked into the presentation room, um, but. Uh, uh, custom indicator as well as uh, automated trading uh, and automated strategy development are uh, other cornerstone features of the NinjaTrader platform. So uh, NinjaTrader uses a programming language that we call NinjaScript for custom indicator as well as strategy development. It's based on industry standard C Sharp, so it is a very powerful scripting language that you get with NinjaTrader. Uh, really anything that can be uh, anything that can be done with C-sharp uh, can be integrated with the NinjaTrader 8 platform. Um, so you really have access to the full functionality of C-sharp development with NinjaScript programming for NinjaTrader 8. Um, so uh, like I said, you can use NinjaScript and C-sharp development to build uh, custom indicators as well as fully automated trading strategies. So you can... Uh, NinjaTrader 8 does include over 100 pre-built technical indicators, and you can actually unlock the code for those pre-built indicators, and you can use that as you know, sort of a platform or a framework for your, uh, your own development. If you wanted to build uh, custom indicators, uh, if you wanted to build an indicator that's based off you know, a simple moving average, for example, you wouldn't have to start from scratch necessarily uh, with the uh, you know, simple moving average component of that indicator, uh, you could simply, you know, unlock and, you know, copy the existing framework for a simple moving average indicator that we have uh, pre-built within the NinjaTrader platform. Uh, so that gives you a little bit of an overview of uh, indicator development. Uh, NinjaTrader does also give you a full end-to-end 
uh, platform experience for automated strategy and uh, you know algorithm development for fully automated trading. So um, there are a few different features within NinjaTrader for uh, automated strategy development. So first of all, there is a simple point and click condition builder interface for automated strategy development. Uh, so if you're not somebody with a lot of programming experience, you can still use NinjaTrader for automated strategy development um, using that point and click condition builder interface. Uh, so that would allow you to simply build uh, conditions. Uh, so you can build, uh, yeah, basically you would be building uh, order entry and position management conditions based, or uh, actions based on uh, market or indicator conditions without any programming experience. Uh, if you are someone with uh, some programming knowledge, you can, uh, again, use that C-sharp NinjaScript uh, programming environment to build even more complex strategies. So uh, what a lot of traders will do when they are developing their, in, uh, their automated trading strategies is they'll use uh, the condition builder to create a framework for the strategy. And then what you can do is you can unlock the code and you can go in and add complexity using the uh, using uh, the NinjaScript programming. So once you have built uh, an automated trading strategy using either, you know, some combination or uh, uh, using either the uh, NinjaScript development or the condition builder or some combination thereof, you can then backtest uh, the strategy over historical data to ensure that it's going to function before implementing it in a live market environment. Uh, so, see that David actually had a question in the room with respect to backtesting. So, David is asking about linking a uh, linking two different time frames together, specifically a 60-minute time frame versus you know a four-hour time frame when you're running a backtest. Uh, so I do believe that um, is something that you would be able to do. Um, I'm not sure the exact scenario that you have in mind with uh, you know linking multiple time frames uh, with respect to a back test, uh, but that should be something that you can pretty easily do with uh, NinjaTrader. Uh, for more specific information, you can send a note, David, to uh, platform support at ninjatrader.com. I'll type that uh, email in the room once more. Uh, but with NinjaTrader, you can definitely have, uh, you know, multiple time frame charts. Uh, so you can have, uh, you know, multiple time frames overlaid within a single uh, chart window. Um, so that should give you what you need in terms of, you know, back testing with respect to multiple time frames. Uh, you could also define a strategy which will, uh, you know, incorporate multiple time frames. So you can have you know, a strategy that incorporates data calculated on, you know, 60 minute bars as well as uh, data calculated on based on four hour bars. Um, so there's a lot of a uh, lot of options there in terms of, you know, creating a strategy that incorporates multiple time frames is also uh, as well also as, uh, you know, back testing and, uh, you know, inc incorporating multiple time frames. Uh, so in addition to offering you know our end users the ability to develop uh, and back test uh, custom indicators as well as fully automated trading strategies we do we do also have an ecosystem of third-party developers that offer custom third-party indicators as well as trading strategies as add-ons for the ninja trader platform um, so we have uh, like I said, we have an ecosystem of uh, several hundred vendors that offer custom trading tools as add-ons for the NinjaTrader platform. So uh, if you're not really interested in developing your own custom indicators, there is still a marketplace of third-party indicators and strategies that you can use to optimize your trading experience with the NinjaTrader platform. 
Uh, and the idea is that you should never have to worry about outgrowing the NinjaTrader platform. Uh, you can either develop your own custom trading tools within the NinjaTrader environment, or you can also uh, purchase third-party trading tools from uh, developers in our uh, ecosystem. So hopefully at this point you are all wondering how to get started with the NinjaTrader platform. And the good news is that NinjaTrader offers an unlimited free trial period during which you have access to all of NinjaTrader's features within a simulation environment. The only time that we charge a licensing fee for a platform is when you're ready to execute live trades. So actually everything that you see me do within uh, NinjaTrader up to this point, uh, you can do using a free version of the NinjaTrader platform. You can access all of our platform features for charting, uh, and market analytics, and you can also uh, access all of the order entry features within a simulated environment. So we like to give you the opportunity to fully test out the NinjaTrader platform before you have to pay for our software. Uh, another thing that I'll add is um, indicator and strategy development is also available with the free version of the NinjaTrader platform. The only thing that you cannot do with the free version of our software is place live trades. So you can download NinjaTrader for free, you can test out the features for charting and analytics, you can test out the features for order placement within a simulation environment, and you can also start developing your own custom indicators and trading strategies. Uh, so if you already have a live trading account with FXCM, you can connect to that account and use it as a source of real-time and historical market data within NinjaTrader. Uh, or if you're just getting started with both NinjaTrader and FXCM, you can also request a free market data trial uh, when you download the NinjaTrader uh, when you download the NinjaTrader platform. So we'll go ahead and post a link into the room now. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and post a link into the room now where you can go ahead and get started with NinjaTrader by downloading the platform for free. And uh, when you download NinjaTrader, you can also request that free market data trial. Let's see. So I'm just trying to figure out the best way to post a link and So I'm actually going to try posting this link to the chat as opposed to uh, putting it into the questions window. So um, I did just post a link into the chat that the entire audience should be able to see. That's ninjatrader.com slash free live data. And that's the link where you can download NinjaTrader completely free and also request a live market data trial from FXCM. So you can get started with the NinjaTrader platform along with a live market uh, data feed. And uh, Colin had a question, does the free trial still use live market data? So yes, uh, that free trial will provide live market data as well as historical market data. Uh, essentially, it's gonna be a, uh, a demo account or a paper trading account from FXCM that you can connect to the NinjaTrader platform in lieu of a live account. And that demo account from FXCM is going to provide you with live market data as well as a pretty extensive resource of historical market data as well. Uh, so, like I said, that gives you the opportunity to get started with NinjaTrader completely free of charge. Um, in addition to offering our platform completely free, we do also have a number of free educational resources to allow you to get started uh, with the NinjaTrader platform. So, we do have a help guide which fully documents all of NinjaTrader's supported features. Uh, you can quickly access the help guide once you have NinjaTrader installed by hitting the F1 key on your keyboard. So if you have uh, NinjaTrader running and if you have a NinjaTrader window selected, you can simply hit the F1 key on your keyboard and that will automatically open a web browser to the NinjaTrader help guide. Uh, so you can navigate this help guide using the table of contents here on the left. Uh, so the help guide is multimedia, um, so if we select a specific section of the help guide, 
there are going to be a number of screenshots uh, within the help guide to give you uh, a visual aid along with the text of the help guide and there are also a number of video tutorials uh, built into the help guide as well um, there is a video library section of the help guide so that is at the uh, the top here um, and this simply condenses all of the video tutorials into a single uh, a single section of the help guide and I will go ahead and post a direct link to the help guide into the room um, so I just posted into the chat a uh, direct link to the help guide uh, so you can view that within a web browser as well uh, if you have not yet downloaded an intruder yet but uh, would like to start looking at that help guide you can quickly access that uh, NinjaTrader also has a number of free live uh, webinar events available to all of our users. Uh, so you can view a schedule of NinjaTrader webinar events at the link that I'll post into the room now. And like I said, these are live webinar events similar to the one that we're presenting right now today with uh, FXEM. Uh, these are typically going to be a little bit more general to uh, the platform features. Uh, they might not focus as much specifically on Forex trading as we are today, uh, but uh, it's still a great resource for getting started with the NinjaTrader platform is going to be those live webinar presentations. Uh, and you do... Uh, you know, those are presented with a live uh, NinjaTrader support technician. Um, so you can ask questions throughout those webinar events. And uh, the uh, similar as I was trying to do today, the uh, presenters are typically able to uh, keep up and answer those uh, questions as you type them into the room, uh, providing, of course, they are relative, uh, relevant to the topics at hand. Whoops. So finally, NinjaTrader does also offer 24-hour technical support via email. Uh, so if you have any questions as you're getting started with the platform, you can contact our li a live technical support representative by sending an email to support at ninjatrader.com. I'll go ahead and enter that support email into the chat as well to make sure that everybody sees it. Uh, so uh, platform support at ninjatrader.com is the best way to get in touch with our technical support team if you have any technical questions about uh, the NinjaTrader platform. Um, during, uh, you know, normal trading hours, uh, our response times are typically going to be within 15 minutes. So that's uh, platform support at NinjaTrader.com is a very fast and very efficient way to uh, ask questions about the NinjaTrader platform and you'll always get a uh, live response from one of our technical support representatives. Uh, we do also provide phone and uh, remote assistance as well. Uh, so if you contact us via email and would like to speak on the phone with one of our technical support representatives, you can always request that uh, in an email. And I'll also uh, submit uh, our platform sales email. Um, so if you have any questions about uh, you know, purchase or lease options for the NinjaTrader platform, uh, if you have questions about uh, you know, brokerage options, getting started, any questions along those lines, we have our platform sales email available as well for more of those sales-oriented questions. So that is all that I had planned for today's presentation. Uh, did go a little bit longer than expected, so I appreciate uh, all of you for sticking around today. Uh, there is a lot to talk about with the NinjaTrader 8 platform, so I appreciate all of you guys for sticking with me throughout our presentation today. Uh, I will leave the room open for a few minutes if you want to ask any additional questions that may not uh, I may not have had a chance to cover directly in our presentation today. Uh, like I said, go ahead and type those into the room now, and uh, I'll have a few minutes left to uh, provide answers for you there. So I don't see uh, don't see any new questions coming in at this time. Um, 
So hopefully that means I did a good job throughout the presentation today of staying on top of all of those questions and uh, providing an informative presentation for you guys with respect to uh, Ninja Trader 8 and the specific enhancements for Forex trading. Uh, if you do have any questions about getting started or any questions at all in general with the Ninja Trader 8 platform, uh, do feel free to contact our platform support team. We are always very uh, glad and gracious to answer your questions. So uh, feel free to uh, you know feel free to reach out to us at any time if you do have questions about uh, getting started with an uh with the Ninja platform, or if you have any more technical questions along the way uh, as you start to dive into the Ninja Trader platform. Uh, always feel free to reach out to us via email. Uh, and we are always glad to assist you. Um, if you have any questions about getting uh, getting started with a live account application, I'm sure that uh, FXM would be glad to hear from you as well. Uh, so do feel free to utilize their support team for any uh, new account related inquiries, uh, but you can also contact our platform support team as well for any platform related items. Uh, once again, I will post a link to the uh, Post a link where you can download NinjaTrader 8 for free and also request a free live market data trial with a demo account from FXCM. Uh, so once again, if you haven't done so already, make sure you take advantage of NinjaTrader's free trial that we have available um, so you can get started with our platform and start testing the features uh, that I demonstrated in today's presentation. Uh, so. Once again, thank you all very much for joining us today. I will go ahead and end the presentation, but uh, if you do have uh, any questions for us, feel free to reach out to us via email. And we'd be glad to assist you. Thank you.